Guatemalan archaeologists are making a fascinating discovery. Let's go to see that's Brooke Baldwin. She traveled to Mirador and came back with an amazing story. Brooke, tell our viewers what's going on. Wolf, I think I'm officially an archaeology geek. Uh, our CNN crew, it is, we're the first TV camera actually in the world to shoot the face of what may be the world's largest pyramid by volume. Uh, this pyramid, it is covered by the canopy of the jungle. It is currently facing several threats. From the air, it looks like just jungle, but these forests in Guatemala hide an ancient secret. The city of Mirador, often referred to as the cradle of Mayan civilization, the size of a modern-day metropolis. This is no mountain. It's a pyramid, and according to the Mirador Basin Project, it may be the largest pyramid by volume in the world. CNN is traveling with the project's director and lead archaeologist, Richard Hansen, and the founder of the Global Heritage Fund, Jeff Morgan. The Pyramid Levante is a structure the world should know because, of the, it, because it represents an investment of labor unprecedented in the world history. Every single stone in that building, from the bottom to the top, was carried by human labor. And the work to save this pyramid is delicate, done by hand. Guatemalan archaeologists painstakingly help uncover pieces of history built by their ancestors. And the view from the top of La Danta, spectacular. This is the summit of the Maya world. Here at the top of La Danta, we are 72 meters, or about 224 feet, from the forest floor. And when we talk about sheer size of this area that is El Mirador, just one single Mayan city, archaeologist Dr. Richard Hansen says its size is larger than all of downtown Los Angeles. And he says there are still thousands of pyramids yet to be uncovered. Then Dr. Hansen shows us something few people have ever seen, a relic referred to as the Popol Vuh, the Mayan story of creation. Oh my gosh. CNN cameras are the first to capture this fresh discovery, which Hansen says will rewrite Mayan history. But this is the creation story. This is the creation the story. People. And it goes back to at least 300, 200 BC. For decades, historians believe the Popol Vuh was tainted by the Catholic views of Spanish conquistadors. Finding this frieze changes everything because it predates the Spanish arrival by more than a millennium. The challenge now is preserving this area, a jungle constantly under threat by narco-traffickers, loggers, and cattle ranchers. Hansen's guards are on constant standby to keep looters out. Where we've had guards in cities throughout the basin, We've had no new looters trenches. Where we haven't had the resources for that, we have lost 100%. Hansen has made Mirador his life's work and hopes to share these Mayan secrets with Guatemala and the world. The science for the sake of science is sterile, but it doesn't bless the lives of people. And by conserving this, we're blessing the lives of an entire nation.